mailbag 41-ish. This is a restock and uh, some other components from AliExpress, uh, including correcting a mistake I made in mailbag 38-ish. So, uh, let's get at this. And we're going to start with these two. They're the heaviest, actually. And I pretty well know what's in everything here because it's all recent orders. Some blue wire. Now you might be going, wait a second. I thought you ordered some wire in mailbag 38-ish. Well, I fouled up. The wire I ordered was stranded. Actually, one of them, the first one I, in the list I did was green, and it was solid, and I wasn't paying attention. Now, this is good wire. I'll be using it all up eventually, but stuffing it into a breadboard just doesn't work that easy. So, I picked up 20 meters, 20 meters, 20 meters, 20 meters of 22 uh, AWG, and I paid for the blue seven dollars and 48 cents for the black seven dollars and 58 cents the red which i'm totally out of right now seven dollars and 55 cents and the yellow seven dollars and 30 cents i do have a fair amount of white wire around here so i don't need to order it uh, but 22 gauge let's just pop one of these open and 20 meters of it it's gonna last for a while. Oh boy, they really kinked that one up a bit. Okay, let me just look for the end. Yes, a second or two or three. Okay, it is single strand. And the big test. Well, at least it's not steel. And it does look like copper. It does have that nice uh, color there. I'll do a close-up picture and stick it in the corner there. What I did here is I just used a knife and uh, scraped the wire. And there's the nice copper uh, color underneath it. Just in case somebody tried to slip in a lunamin wire. And now the next one. So I'll get these out of the way. And it's next. How about this one? Hey, they even got the truth on the package. Let's see if I can show that. ISD 1820 recording modules. Plural. What I did was I ordered... A, oops. Okay. Okay. And okay, I ordered a batch. I ordered um, three with speakers. Hmm. Okay, let's see what's in the packages. Let's see what I got, actually. Oh, there's one. There's two. I guess I didn't have any bags that could fit three. Correct. Three uh, that have the speakers. <laughs> I've already opened this one. Partly. There we go. I'll st stick who I got these ones up in the corner there. And I paid $2.89 for these ones. These ones here are the bare bones one. Uh, no speaker. Since I'm going to probably substitute a lot of them with, their, with my own speakers. Okay, good. Let's open this one up. And these are actually surface mount device ones. Uh, if you've seen my other videos, they had the ones with the full-size chip. Whereas these are surface mount. I'm just going to... Pause for 
sometime. So far I've made two videos using, well, these are identical. Um, I've made two videos using these ones. Uh, the one video, do it yourself, make your own uh, voice backup warning system was just recently done. And about two years ago, and I'll put these in the corner there, I did a do-it-yourself motion-sensitive Halloween grin with sound. And that one actually uh, has been a lot of fun on Halloween, which is tomorrow when this was record recorded. So the way these work is you apply power, push the button, record your 10 seconds worth of audio, release it, then if you push this button here, it plays it back. And if you push it, this button and hold this button, it just keeps looping it. The other way to make it loop is take the jumper, put it on these two pins here, and it doesn't seem momentary cough there. It doesn't seem intuitive either, though, because you're jumpering these ones. It says PE, and here you got play E. Oh, shouldn't that just give you one? Uh, no, actually, that is the cycling. So what I did was in the car warning system, I uh, jumpered this one, hooked up the power, took it over to a regulator, and then wired it into the backup lighting so that whenever I put it in reverse, this whole thing would then energize up and it would start playing the message. Uh, it would come out here. I actually used a PAM, um, whatever the number is in the corner there, uh, between the two to amplify it. And then I stuck it out to a big speaker. And it works nicely. Even the, the missus likes it. So I've got lots of these now. And I'm just restocking because they are handy. And now the last package. Or packages. Okay. Nothing on that one. Nothing on that one. Good. And we'll start with a small one here. Okay. Yeah, that's the second one that I've uh, sliced into. Okay. We have some BNCs. Hey, this one's already opened. That's convenient. There we go. So this one has it uh, where you've got your center pin and then this is for this part here instead of just going to an outside shield. Oh, wait a second. Guess what? This is other type. There we go. So with the hardware on, let's just put some on. You have that there, you have that there. So essentially on this one here, uh, the outside is going to this. And then if you're attaching it to a metal case, it'd be a, grounded into the case. And to kind of reshoot a bit of this. Uh, so these ones here were uh, 229-ish. It's in the corner just in case I get them backwards. And these ones were 273 from AliExpress. I wanted to actually compare them against um, some that I got from Newart. So these two are fairly identical. Keep everything in frame this time. There's a bit of difference in size, length on this one from Neward. Everything else pretty well looks identical. Uh, the ones from Neward, the price will be up in the corner there. Um, 
These ones from Alley were definitely a lot cheaper. But these are the BNCs. Yeah, that didn't go too well. <clears throat> I wiped out all the filmage for this part. Well, this is a smart door, outdoor, dummy, surveillance, camera, home, dome, waterproof, fake. So it's a smart, dummy, fake uh, camera mount. So let's just take a look at this. The whole idea behind it is you stick a couple batteries in it and this is not going to be the intended use of it. It sits there blinking away indicating you're under a security camera. Go away. Go to your neighbors instead. Uh, of course, the neighbors actually do have real security cameras. But that's not what the plan is for this thing. I'm just going to pop the batteries back out. I've actually already had this apart. And then I did the famous, I thought the camera was on. No. Boy, this... I'm probably going to do this off camera so I don't break it completely. Okay, so I've got it open and checking to make sure the camera's going. Uh, it's essentially one LED. Nothing fancy. And I'm not sure how long this battery's going to last. You can't even adjust this, but it's supposed to be fake. But I'm not going to be using this as a camera. If you've seen Space Odyssey, you know about HAL. And I was thinking this would actually be a half-decent dome for it. And make a HAL uh, door uh, bell. Now, the fact that this comes out, and this all go, can go back in, and sadly, my uh, destructive tendencies were working on this one. I wasn't paying attention to the little grooves, which you need to line up properly, and hence I snapped one. But I think uh, this, with the appropriate uh, backdrop in here, will make a nice howl eye. I'm not spending the thousand dollars on that camera lens that they actually used for the original one. So that's going to be a project in the making. Uh, got one of those. Have this stuff here. Have enough wire now. Solid core wire. Uh, not stranded. So that's it for this one. And go watch that uh, Halloween grin one I made uh, a couple years ago. It doesn't have enough views on it. And actually, it's, uh, I think, one of my better uh, make-myself ones, DIYs.